Hey Bellas! Hola a todos! Kamusta po kayo? Welcome to my new episode. And today we're going to talk about beauty pageants, Miss Universe, and of course we have to address so many questions coming from the pageant fans around the universe. And the first question is, who has the Miss Universe look? This is a very important concern for so many pageant fans especially about Miss Universe. Everyone has their own opinion and this has been debated by so many pageant experts and I think that there is so many information coming out everywhere on their own judgment and who has the X factor and who has that universal beauty for Miss Universe. We cannot deny the fact that everyone is truly beautiful. And I think if you would ask me who has the Miss Universe material, I think everyone, all the girls, every girls have the right to have that look, the Miss Universe look. If you watch my other video on what is the true essence of being a Miss Universe, you would understand that being a Miss Universe is not just about the look. So if you have time, please do watch that video as well. It's very important to know before going into this conversation. Miss Universe is all about the characteristic, the personality, and the purpose of a certain candidate besides the face. Because I think everyone is beautiful already. Everyone is elegant, glamorous. So if we're going to rate them, and give them the rank based on their faces, based on the symmetry of their face that oh, our girl has the Miss Universe look because the angle of her face is like this and like that. Oh no, our girl has this amazing tantalizing eyes that has truly great emotion on it, mystery on it. So she has the Miss Universe look. Guys, this debate will not be over because no one is winning yet. The competition haven't started yet. Everyone has the capabilities of winning the Miss Universe. It just truly really depends on their personality and their performance and most especially their communications. Sometimes the girl who has the Miss Universe look are the one who are quiet, the one who are simple, the one who doesn't create too much publicity. That is the girl who I think has the Miss Universe look girl who has that Miss Universe look doesn't expose herself, doesn't make so many noise and publicity. She has her own inner strength that can radiate from the outside. And she's going to look great at all times, even though she's not exposing herself through social media or to the public. We cannot define a Miss Universe look based on pictures, based on a glam photo shoots. It's easy to have the most expensive glam team, the most expensive makeup, styling, designers. It's easy to have that. And for those who are claiming that because of their pictures, their consistent pictures, they have that Miss Universe look. No, no. It's a big no and I don't think so. We can argue this the whole time, but I don't think your arguments will win. So, end of story. At, at merong mga ibang taong nagkikriticize kay Rabia Mateo na hindi daw siya pang Miss Universe. So, ang tanong ko, sino ba ang pang Miss Universe? Diba? Hindi kasalanan ni Rabia Mateo na i-appoint siya ng Miss Universe Philippines to represent our country. Kasalanan niya ba yon? Because I believe that this is not just the battle of Rabia Mateo. This is the battle of the entire country. Guys, ang gusto niya lang maiuwi ang corona para sa atin. And she wants to bring home not just the crown but the honor to our country. And you know what? Even though Rabia Mateo hasn't been so active in social media, she has gained fans around the world. And it's increasing in numbers. So if you are going to ask me if pictures equals popularity, equals strength, I will answer you directly right now, no. It's a big no. Pictures doesn't equate popularity and popularity does not equate strength. You gain popularity 
once you have the most fans all over the world. And also, popularity does not equal strength. Why? Because it's a totally different matter. Strength is based on the performance of the girl in a competition. Being popular doesn't make the girl Miss Universe. Strength makes the girl Miss Universe. Why would they say the strongest if they haven't seen the girl? So, meaning they are just predicting the girls based on their faces and based on their pictures. I don't think so, guys. Correct me if I am wrong, but this is my truthful understanding of the difference between popularity and strength. Right now, look at Rabia Mateo from the Philippines. She's been so quiet, but her fans is growing in numbers. But the truth is, Rabia Mateo is not just popular. She has a purpose. And what is her purpose? By promoting her advocacy. Rabia Mateo is busy focusing on working with an organization concerning children. This is a very good advocacy for a Miss Universe. I think the girl who can stand out from the rest is the girl who can connect to people and has a genuine heart. There are some critics who would say na pinabayaan daw ng Miss Universe Philippines si Rabia Mateo. Okay, in what way na pinabayaan siya? Ano nangyari? Rabia Mateo is having the best time of her life as the representative of our country. Bakit naman natin masasabing pinabayaan si Rabia Mateo? You know what, guys? The support of the National Director of Miss Universe Philippines, Shamsi Subsuf, and the staff of Miss Universe Philippines organization is giving their best to support our candidate. I just don't understand if we as fans truly give our best to support our candidate. Not because we don't see what they're doing right now, it doesn't mean na pinabayaan nila si Rabia Mateo. I don't think so, guys. I think that the Miss Universe Philippines organization is going to give the best for Rabia. The designer, the glam team, everything. Everything that she needs. We need to relax. Yun lang ang pwede natin gawin. At please, guys, tandaan natin to. We need to respect them. We have to have unity. We need to believe in them. Yun lang ang pwede natin gawin. Please, wag natin silang pangunahan. We don't need to rush. If ngayon nangunguna sila, so let them be. Diba? Umpisahan nila at tatapusin ni Rabia Mateo ang laban. Sometimes, guys, we have to choose our own battle. Rabia choose her own battle. The organization choose their battle. I think their decision right now is different from the other team. I, that doesn't mean that the Miss Universe Philippines organization is giving up on Rabia. There are things that we haven't seen yet. Actually, di ba may mga nilalabas na nga silang mga pasilip, mga konting mga pasabog, di ba? We cannot compare our present representative to the past winners of Miss Universe, okay? They have their own strategy. And in Rabia's case, this is what's working with her. So what we can do is to support that decision, to support the plans of Miss Universe Philippines for Rabia Mateo. And at the end, we will reign supreme in unity. For those who doesn't like Rabia Mateo, let's not blame them, okay? Kasi may kanya-kanyang kagustuhan yan eh. Hindi natin sila mapipilit na gustuhin si Rabia. But all I can say is that I wish that they can just support their candidates without attacking the other. Okay, this is a friendly competition, ika nga. At guys, meron nga pala nagtatanong, bakit daw si Rabia Mateo hindi masyadong nag-i-smile? If ever you can see Rabia on pictures na hindi nag-smile sometimes, especially dun sa, yun sa TikTok niya on IG na masyado parang seryoso. Guys, she is just showing her fierce side. Kasi diba, maraming nag-criticize before na si Rabia hindi naman fierce, hindi naman, hindi masyadong malamia. So, I think that she is just trying to show us that she can also be fierce. 
Because the good thing about Rabia Mateo, she can give you a really good smile. Wala siyang problema sa smile. At marami ring beses na nakasmile si Rabia Mateo. And she has this winning smile. Para siya si Miss Olivia Culpo, Miss USA dati. At para din siyang si Megan Young, more fierce than Megan, di ba? Kasi si Megan very Miss World talaga pang sweetness eh. Parang ganun, di ba? Pero a Miss Universe... More on the smiles, more on the, the fears, and you know the the girl who can slay the the stage, right? Eh, kaya nga parang nagiba yung trend sa Miss Universe ngayon, di ba? Parang naging supermodel ang labanan. Pero at the end, you know, personality pa rin ang magpapanalo sa isang candidate. Pero once na nilagay mo si Rabia sa stage, she is transforming into a powerful woman. Rabia is choosing her battle. Rabia knows when is the best time for her to move. Anyway, guys, I really want to have the special thanks and special mention for Zia Tiffany Monte Carlo. She has been supporting me with all of my videos. Zia, thank you so much. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and... Don't forget to push the notification bell so you can be notified in all of my videos. Thank you guys. Muchas gracias. Bye.